Hey guys, so another quick video today. Um, I got a comment in my last video about how we could um, basically disable this ability for people when they right click on your images to be able to save them or copy your images or whatever. Um, so you notice for something like collections, uh, there's a, there's an element that actually blocks this already. But for things like you know columns with text, you can still do it and images with text, you can still do it. So we're basically gonna create a script that's gonna go through after your page loads, it's gonna look at all the images and basically disallow this entire menu from opening on any image. And just as a side note, you're already gonna need to have jQuery imported on your site to be able to do this. Uh, and so if you don't have that done yet, um, I'll link a video down in the description and as a, a video card right now. So to implement this script, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be here in our themes admin. Um, we're gonna go ahead and you can either duplicate or download your theme file just in case. So you have a save point, um, just in case something messes up along the way, you're gonna be able to just easily go back to that. But once you're done doing that, go ahead and hit edit code here. And so once you're in your code, um, the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna open this assets folder and we're actually gonna add a new asset here. So we're gonna create a blank file and it's gonna be a JavaScript file and we're gonna call it no image copy. The name obviously doesn't really matter, um, but that's what I've chosen for this is no image copy and it's gonna save this uh, and then we're gonna navigate all the way down to the bottom here and find no image copy. Uh, which is right here, this noimagecopy.js. So we're gonna open that. For now, I'm just gonna console.log loaded here. And this is just a plain JavaScript file. So whenever we call this script, um, it's just gonna run like it would any other JavaScript file. So here we're just making sure that, that this is loading properly once we attach it to our theme.liquid file. If you don't already have theme.liquid open, uh, it's gonna be located in this layout folder. Uh, so once you've opened this theme.liquid file, I want you guys to find the end of your head element. So the head element begins here. Um, you can find the end by control or command F and then just type head. Um, you know what, go ahead and type uh, head like this and you'll easily find the end of your head element. So now we need to reference the script that we created earlier. So I'm gonna create a script tag here and I'm gonna close the script tag. And so the script tag needs a source. Um, I'm gonna leave the source blank for now. We're gonna type defer here. And this is basically just gonna make it so that this script doesn't load until after everything else on the page has loaded. Now inside the script tag, um, we're gonna open up um, a liquid statement. And in this statement, we're going to type uh, in quotes, we're gonna type the name of our file, which I believe was no image copy.js. And then uh, we wanna use this uh, filter here, uh, this pipe here, which is gonna create a filter. And we're going to use the asset URL filter. And this is basically just going to search in our assets folder for this no image copy.js and give us the proper source for that. Um, and so once we've done that, we can go ahead and save. And so now back on our live site, um, I'm gonna press control shift I, and that will open the console here. If that's not working for you guys, you can go down to here, this more tools and uh, developer tools. Uh, just note on Mac, obviously, the control will be replaced with command. So. Once we've uh, refreshed our site here, you're gonna see that this says loaded. So that means that um, you know it's loading this no image copy.js file. And so now we can go ahead and type the rest of our script out. So go ahead and, and delete this line here. And so go ahead and copy that second snippet that I've included in the um, pinned comment on this video. And so what this is basically doing is it's just grabbing all the image uh, elements on the page using jQuery and um, it's binding, this context menu function would trigger, we're actually instead just returning false. So we're basically just doing nothing when that happens. So once we've saved that, you can see that when we refresh this page, um, we're no longer getting the loaded because we deleted that. 
But now when I try to right click on these, it's gonna still open up this contextual menu, um, but that's fine because there's no save image. But uh, when I right click on these, and I'm gonna hold up my mouse to the microphone right now. When I right click on these, you can see that it's not actually doing anything. And likewise with this image with text. So this will work on your entire site, uh, except for obviously the checkout.liquid. Um, file because we don't have access to that uh, with the standard Shopify plan. But other than that, any image on your site now, um, you won't be able to right click and save it. Obviously, if someone's a little bit more savvy with Chrome DevTools, they're still gonna be able to see the source, uh, you know, in the element. But, um, you know, there's really no way to serve an image without like exposing its source, but this just makes it a little bit, uh, you know, more difficult to do that. So if this video helped you, you guys know what to do. Uh, you know, leave a like, comment with other topics that you'd want me to cover um, for, you know, how can you do XYZ on your Shopify site? Um, and I might make a video out of them. And other than that, I'll see you in the next video, guys.